Hi you guys, my name is Ashley Latisse and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I styled my hair with Her Given Hair's 3-in-1 Half Wig. Now, if you've been, you know, watching my videos, I am a wash and go girl. I am even a mini twist girl. Sometimes I am a braid or Senegalese twist girl, but I have never worn a wig. I can say back, back, back in the day, I used to wear weaves, curly weaves, and I would have some leave out, but this is my first wig and it couldn't have gone more smooth given the fact that I didn't even have to braid my hair down. What you're seeing here are just mini twists, my same mini twists that I do after wash day to keep my hair tangle free. And I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and pull it out the box. Let me go ahead and just try it out because, I mean, the hair is beautiful. The quality was beautiful. Um, and I was like, let me just put my hair in a bun. I don't need to do, I don't know how to corn roll, first of all, let's be clear with that. And, um, I didn't have a cap available, but I was like, let's just see what it's looking like. So the beauty in this product, or at least like the things that stick out the most for me are that I don't have to use any glue. Um, I It was easy, it was fast. As you know, I'm a mom of three, um, and I get to use the same products that I have on deck to style my leave out. So I decided, let me try that look. You know, let me go for the headband look first. This is my first time putting on a wig. Mind you, the, the wig itself is beautiful, which, I'm gonna show you how I apply it. has clips, it has a jawstring in it to basically tailor it to your head. I have a big head, and I'm not gonna lie, I was surprised that it fit so well. Um, you can use the jawstring to make sure that it ain't going anywhere, and the hair clips inside also secure it. So I was like, okay, let me put a little bit of mousse. I have my headband around my neck already, which I highly recommend because I couldn't imagine trying to put the headband on after. But those were the clips, and I'm just showing you the jawstring. What did you call the jawstring? You know what I'm talking about. Yes. And that keeps it from, you know, like going anywhere because that, that's not an option. We're not, we're not losing our weight. Um, so I clipped them in. Mind you, this is my first time. I'm still kind of blown away because where have I been? Like, where has this been? I have needed this many a times uh, when mom life has called and I just did not get the time that I needed to style my hair. I needed this. Like, how grateful I am that you are in my life now. But anyways, I'm going to add a little bit of I Create Hold on my edges because that really just plays it down. Okay, no lies. If you have it, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, you need to go get it. Um, so I'm just using a brush. I'm not even using like an edge control. You don't need that with that I create hold gel and Y'all look at this Tell me that doesn't look like it's it belongs to me and it grew out of my scalp now the texture Matches mine pretty well. I'm not going to say I am a four anything. I have learned my lesson I'm just I am in the type four range. Some people still say I'm in a 3c. I, I don't agree with that, but Let's just say I have really, really tight, tight, tight coils. And this is their 3C4A wig. And it was blending. Like, it, it's identical color to my hair, which my hair is not black. It's like a brown. And sometimes in the summer, the tips go a little bit lighter. But it matched perfect. And I was like, okay, hold on. Okay, let's go for style number two. Because that was too easy, right? Like, don't you think that was too easy I, it, for it to come out like that? Imagine you need to run a Target or you're, if I put on a, well, it's not summer anymore, but if you put on a dress, a little makeup and get dolled up and like have a cute little scarf to go around your head or just something simple and cute. Like, how, how easy was that? What I just did. Um, so I was pretty much in my head like, okay, I'm sold. But I needed to also try a style leaving some hair out because that's really that's really where it's at like if I don't have any leave out like okay yeah simple but is my hair truly going to blend with this wig like that is the true test so I was like well then let's do this I put my hair into a bun and as you can see I just took out the front two twists mind you I don't do anything super even that's just not my season right now so bear with me but I just took out my twist um, I decided to clip the hair on first and I just put it like pretty close. I mean, yeah, like pretty close right there. I will fluff it out as the video goes on. Um, but once I clipped it in, tightened it, then I started to get to work. So I'll undo my first twist and I'm going to use the same two products that I use on a normal wash day. 
um, which would be my Uncle Funky's Curly Magic, and then I top it with the mousse. I really, really love with the mousse that it dries quickly. That's just a no-brainer. So I was like, let me just start with one side of my hair first, and we're gonna see how that goes. I went in with the Uncle Funky's Curly Magic. You could use that with your hair soaking wet. I'm more so like, I put it on with my hair damp, and I just sprayed it a little bit because it was already like, it was dry, it was in that dry bun. So I sprayed it, used Uncle Funky's Curly Magic, and then I went in with a little mousse on top. So this is called the Rake and Smooth Method. Um, I'm also, what am I now, eight months postpartum. I had a ton of hair loss around my edges. So the front of my hair, some parts seem a little more like thin to me. Once my hair is all out, it doesn't look that way, but to me they definitely, I know what my hair normally looks like in the front. So for this to even blend considering that, considering my postpartum hair journey, I was just like, okay, what a lifesaver. Um, so yeah, you can see the mousse and then I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the same exact thing on the opposite side The clips you can kind of toy around with to bring them in a little bit closer or, or not even clips It was like they're like combs on the inside of the wig so you can just like Lift them out or pull them out and then tuck them back under and make it a little however you want right and then I just applied the mousse of course after the uncle funk is curly magic and I did both sides now I am not a middle part girl I don't feel like I have the head shape for a middle part. That does not look well on me. I am definitely, I live in the side part zone. So I side parted it and I'm not, I don't like a perfect part. I just like it to look as natural as possible. And that's what I started to do. I just started to play around with it. I then used uh, my brush, my normal brush that I always use to start playing around with baby hair. And well, I'm gonna call it adult hair because I don't do a ton of baby hair. I don't do all that. But um, yeah, and then I just started to fluff it out. I like my hair to look, well, at least when I used to wear a weave, I liked it to look more fluffy, not like perfect curls because that just didn't match my texture. I needed to have a little frizz or whatever. So I'm gonna give my honest feedback in my next video. I'm gonna give an update on how the wig how it how it existed outside of the house um if at all you love this or you found it helpful you guys i do have a link for you um i do earn a commission off of that as well but you can click that link below and purchase through me and yeah look forward to my next update and video with her giving hair this three-in-one wig as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you back here next time